Oxytocin, Wikipedia article audio. Oxytocin is a peptide hormone and neuropeptide. Oxytocin is normally produced by the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus and released by the posterior pituitary. It plays a role in social bonding, sexual reproduction in both sexes, and during and after childbirth. Oxytocin is released into the bloodstream as a hormone in response to stretching of the cervix and uterus during labor and with stimulation of the nipples from breastfeeding. This helps with birth, bonding with the baby, and milk production. Oxytocin was discovered by Henry Dale in 1906. Its molecular structure was determined in 1952. Oxytocin is also used as a medication to facilitate childbirth. Biochemistry Biosynthesis Neural sources Non-neural sources Male Female Evolution Biological function Physiological Psychological Bonding Drugs Fear and anxiety Mood and depression Sex differences Social Chemistry History NM000915 NM011025 NP000906 NP035155 Estrogen has been found to increase the secretion of oxytocin and to increase the expression of its receptor, the oxytocin receptor, in the brain. In women, a single dose of estradiol has been found to be sufficient to increase circulating oxytocin concentrations. The oxytocin peptide is synthesized as an inactive precursor protein from the OXT gene. This precursor protein also includes the oxytocin carrier protein neurophysin I. The inactive precursor protein is progressively hydrolyzed into smaller fragments via a series of enzymes. The last hydrolysis that releases the active oxytocin nonapeptide is catalyzed by peptidyl glycine alpha amidating monooxygenase. The activity of the PAM enzyme system is dependent upon vitamin C, which is a necessary vitamin cofactor. By chance, sodium ascorbate by itself was found to stimulate the production of oxytocin from ovarian tissue over a range of concentrations in a dose dependent manner many of the same tissues where pam is found are also known to store higher concentrations of vitamin c oxytocin is known to be metabolized by the oxytocinase lucyl slash cystin laminopeptidase other oxytocin ases are also known to exist. Amastadin, bestadin, lupeptine, and pyramycin have been found to inhibit the enzymatic degradation of oxytocin, though they also inhibit the degradation of various other peptides, such as vasopressin, metencephalin, and dynorphin A. In the hypothalamus, Oxytocin is made in magnocellular neurosecretory cells of the supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei, and is stored in herring bodies at the axon terminals in the posterior pituitary. It is then released into the blood from the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland. These axons have collaterals that innervate neurons in the nucleus accumbens, a brain structure where oxytocin receptors are expressed. The endocrine effects of hormonal oxytocin and the cognitive or behavioral effects of oxytocin neuropeptides are thought to be coordinated through its common release through these collaterals. Oxytocin is also produced by some neurons in the paraventricular nucleus that project to other parts of the brain and to the spinal cord. Depending on the species, 
oxytocin receptor expressing cells are located in other areas, including the amygdala and bed nucleus of the stria terminalis. In the pituitary gland, oxytocin is packaged in large, dense core vesicles, where it is bound to neurophysin I as shown in the inset of the figure. Neurophysin is a large peptide fragment of the larger precursor protein molecule from which oxytocin is derived by enzymatic cleavage. Secretion of oxytocin from the neurosecretory nerve endings is regulated by the electrical activity of the oxytocin cells in the hypothalamus. These cells generate action potentials that propagate down axons to the nerve endings in the pituitary. The endings contain large numbers of oxytocin-containing vesicles, which are released by exocytosis when the nerve terminals are depolarized. Endogenous oxytocin concentrations in the brain have been found to be as much as 1,000-fold higher than peripheral levels. Outside the brain, oxytocin-containing cells have been identified in several diverse tissues, including in females in the corpus luteum and the placenta, in males in the testicles interstitial cells of Leydig, and in both sexes in the retina, the adrenal medulla, the thymus, and the pancreas. The finding of significant amounts of this classically neurohypophyseal hormone outside the central nervous system raises many questions regarding its possible importance in these different tissues. The Leydig cells in some species have been shown to possess the biosynthetic machinery to manufacture testicular oxytocin de novo, to be specific, in rats, and in guinea pigs, which, like humans, require an exogenous source of vitamin C in their diets. Oxytocin is synthesized by corpora lutea of several species, including ruminants and primates. Along with estrogen, it is involved in inducing the endometrial synthesis of prostaglandin F2-alpha to cause regression of the corpus luteum. Virtually all vertebrates have an oxytocin-like nonapeptide hormone that supports reproductive functions and a vasopressin-like nonapeptide hormone involved in water regulation. The two genes are usually located close to each other on the same chromosome and are transcribed in opposite directions the homologs are further apart and transcribed in the same direction. The two genes are believed to result from a gene duplication event, the ancestral gene is estimated to be about 500 million years old and is found in cyclostomata. Oxytocin has peripheral actions, and also has actions in the brain. Its actions are mediated by specific, oxytocin receptors. The oxytocin receptor is a G-protein coupled receptor that requires magnesium and cholesterol. It belongs to the rhodopsin type group of G-protein coupled receptors. Studies have looked at oxytocin's role in various behaviors, including orgasm, social recognition, pair bonding, anxiety, and maternal behaviors. The peripheral actions of oxytocin mainly reflect secretion from the pituitary gland. The behavioral effects of oxytocin are thought to reflect release from centrally projecting oxytocin neurons, different from those that project to the pituitary gland, or that are collaterals from them. Oxytocin receptors are expressed by neurons in many parts of the brain and spinal cord, including the amygdala, ventromedial hypothalamus, septum, nucleus accumbens, and brainstem. In the prairie vole, oxytocin released into the brain of the female during sexual activity is important for forming a pair bond with her sexual partner. Vasopressin appears to have a similar effect in males. Oxytocin has a role in social behaviors in many species, so it likely also does in humans. In a 2003 study, both humans and dog oxytocin levels in the blood rose after 5 to 24 minutes of a petting session.
This possibly plays a role in the emotional bonding between humans and dogs. Oxytocin is typically remembered for the effect it has on processial behaviors, such as its role in facilitating trust and attachment between individuals. Consequently, oxytocin is often referred to as the love hormone. However, Oxytocin has a more complex role than solely enhancing processial behaviors. There is consensus that oxytocin modulates fear and anxiety, that is, it does not directly elicit fear or anxiety. Two dominant theories explain the role of oxytocin in fear and anxiety. One theory states that oxytocin increases approach-slash-avoidance to certain social stimuli and the second theory states that oxytocin increases the salience of certain social stimuli, causing the animal or human to pay closer attention to socially relevant stimuli. Nasally administered oxytocin has been reported to reduce fear, possibly by inhibiting the amygdala. Indeed. Studies in rodents have shown oxytocin can efficiently inhibit fear responses by activating an inhibitory circuit within the amygdala. Some researchers have argued oxytocin has a general enhancing effect on all social emotions, since intranasal administration of oxytocin also increases envy and schadenfreude. Individuals who receive an intranasal dose of oxytocin identify facial expressions of disgust faster than individuals who do not receive oxytocin. Facial expressions of disgust are evolutionarily linked to the idea of contagion. Thus, oxytocin increases the salience of cues that imply contamination which leads to a faster response because these cues are especially relevant for survival. In another study, after administration of oxytocin, individuals displayed an enhanced ability to recognize expressions of fear compared to the individuals who received the placebo. Oxytocin modulates fear responses by enhancing the maintenance of social memories. Rats that are genetically modified to have a surplus of oxytocin receptors display a greater fear response to a previously conditioned stressor. Oxytocin enhances the aversive social memory, leading the rat to display a greater fear response when the aversive stimulus is encountered again. Oxytocin produces antidepressant-like effects in animal models of depression, and a deficit of it may be involved in the pathophysiology of depression in humans. The antidepressant-like effects of oxytocin are not blocked by a selective antagonist of the oxytocin receptor, suggesting that these effects are not mediated by the oxytocin receptor. In accordance, unlike oxytocin, the selective non-peptide oxytocin receptor agonist WAY 267,464 does not produce antidepressant-like effects, at least in the tail suspension test. In contrast to WAY 267,464, carbatocin, a close analog of oxytocin and peptide oxytocin receptor agonist, notably does produce antidepressant-like effects in animals. As such, the antidepressant-like effects of oxytocin may be mediated by modulation of a different target, perhaps the vasopressin V1A receptor where oxytocin is known to weakly bind as an agonist. Sildenafil has been found to enhance electrically evoked oxytocin release from the pituitary gland. In accordance, the drug shows oxytocin-dependent antidepressant-like effects in animals, and it has proposed that sildenafil may hold promise as a potential antidepressant in humans. It has been shown that oxytocin differentially affects males and females. Females who are administered oxytocin are overall faster in responding to socially relevant stimuli than males who received oxytocin. Additionally, after the administration of oxytocin, females show increased amygdala activity in response to threatening scenes, however, 
males do not show increased amygdala activation. This phenomenon can be explained by looking at the role of gonadal hormones, specifically estrogen, which modulate the enhanced threat processing seen in females. Estrogen has been shown to stimulate the release of oxytocin from the hypothalamus and promote receptor binding in the amygdala. It has also been shown that testosterone directly suppresses oxytocin in mice. This has been hypothesized to have evolutionary significance. With oxytocin suppressed, activities such as hunting and attacking invaders would be less mentally difficult as oxytocin is strongly associated with empathy. Oxytocin is a peptide of nine amino acids in the sequence cysteine tyrosine isoleucine glutamine asparagine cysteine proline leucine glycine amide. Its C-terminus has been converted to a primary amide and a disulfide bridge joins the cysteine moieties. Oxytocin has a molecular mass of 1,007 d, and one international unit of oxytocin is the equivalent of about 2 μg of pure peptide. While the structure of oxytocin is highly conserved in placental mammals, a novel structure of oxytocin was recently reported in marmosets, tamarins, and other New World primates. Genomic sequencing of the gene for oxytocin revealed a single in-frame mutation which results in a single amino acid substitution at the 8 position. Since this original Lee ETAL paper, Two other laboratories have confirmed Pro-8OT and documented additional oxytocin structural variants in this primate taxon. Vargas Panilla ETAL sequenced the coding regions of the OXT gene in other genera in New World primates and identified the following variants in addition to LAU-8 and Pro-8OT, ALA-8OT, THR-8OT, and VAL-3-PRO-8OT. Ren ETAL identified a variant further, PHE2OT in howler monkeys. Milk ejection reflex slash letdown reflex, in lactating mothers, oxytocin acts at the mammary glands, causing milk to be let down into subareolar sinuses, from where it can be excreted via the nipple. Suckling by the infant at the nipple is relayed by spinal nerves to the hypothalamus. The stimulation causes neurons that make oxytocin to fire action potentials in intermittent bursts. These bursts result in the secretion of pulses of oxytocin from the neurosecretory nerve terminals of the pituitary gland, uterine contraction, important for cervical dilation before birth. Oxytocin causes contractions during the second and third stages of labor. Oxytocin release during breastfeeding causes mild but often painful contractions during the first few weeks of lactation. This also serves to assist the uterus in clotting the placental attachment point postpartum. However, in knockout mice lacking the oxytocin receptor, reproductive behavior and parturition are normal, due to its similarity to vasopressin, it can reduce the excretion of urine slightly. In several species, oxytocin can stimulate sodium excretion from the kidneys, and, in humans, high doses can result in low sodium levels, cardiac effects. Oxytocin and oxytocin receptors are also found in the heart in some rodents, and the hormone may play a role in the embryonal development of the heart by promoting cardiomyocyte differentiation. However, the absence of either oxytocin or its receptor in knockout mice has not been reported to produce cardiac insufficiencies. Modulation of hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis activity oxytocin, under certain circumstances, indirectly inhibits release of adrenocorticotropic hormone and cortisol and, in those situations, may be considered an antagonist of vasopressin, preparing fetal neurons for delivery, crossing the placenta, maternal oxytocin reaches the fetal brain and induces a switch.
In the action of neurotransmitter GABA from excitatory to inhibitory on fetal cortical neurons. This silences the fetal brain for the period of delivery and reduces its vulnerability to hypoxic damage. Feeding. A 2012 paper suggested that oxytocin neurons in the paraventricular hypothalamus in the brain may play a key role in suppressing appetite under normal conditions and that other hypothalamic neurons may trigger eating via inhibition of these oxytocin neurons. This population of oxytocin neurons are absent in prader willi syndrome, a genetic disorder that leads to uncontrollable feeding and obesity and may play a key role in its pathophysiology. Maternal Behavior Female rats given oxytocin antagonists after giving birth do not exhibit typical maternal behavior. By contrast, virgin female sheep show maternal behavior toward foreign lambs upon cerebrospinal fluid infusion of oxytocin, which they would not do otherwise. Oxytocin is involved in the initiation of maternal behavior, not its maintenance, for example, it is higher in mothers after they interact with unfamiliar children rather than their own. In group bonding, oxytocin can increase positive attitudes, such as bonding, toward individuals with similar characteristics, who then become classified as in-group members whereas individuals who are dissimilar become classified as out-group members. Race can be used as an example of in-group and out-group tendencies because society often categorizes individuals into groups based on race. One study that examined race and empathy found that participants receiving nasally administered oxytocin had stronger reactions to pictures of in-group members making pained faces than to pictures of out-group members with the same expression. This shows that oxytocin may be implicated in our ability to empathize with individuals of different races and could potentially translate into willingness to help individuals in pain or stressful situations. Moreover, individuals of one race may be more inclined to help individuals of the same race than individuals of another race when they are experiencing pain. Oxytocin has also been implicated in lying when lying would prove beneficial to other in-group members. In a study where such a relationship was examined, it was found that when individuals were administered oxytocin, Rates of dishonesty in the participants' responses increased for their in-group members when a beneficial outcome for their group was expected. Both of these examples show the tendency to act in ways that benefit people with which one feels is part of their social group, or in-group. Oxytocin is not only correlated with the preferences of individuals to associate with members of their own group, but it is also evident during conflicts between members of different groups. During conflict, individuals receiving nasally administered oxytocin demonstrate more frequent defense-motivated responses toward in-group members than out-group members. Further, oxytocin was correlated with participant desire to protect vulnerable in-group members, despite that individual's attachment to the conflict. Similarly, it has been demonstrated that when oxytocin is administered, individuals alter their subjective preferences in order to align with in-group ideals over out-group ideals. These studies demonstrate that oxytocin is associated with intergroup dynamics. Further, oxytocin influences the responses of individuals in a particular group to those of another group. The in-group bias is evident in smaller groups, however, it can also be extended to groups as large as one's entire country leading toward a tendency of strong national zeal. A study done in the Netherlands showed that oxytocin increased the in-group favoritism of their nation while decreasing acceptance of members of other ethnicities and foreigners. People also show more affection for their country's flag while remaining indifferent to other cultural objects when exposed to oxytocin.
It has thus been hypothesized that this hormone may be a factor in xenophobic tendencies secondary to this effect. Thus, oxytocin appears to affect individuals at an international level where the in-group becomes a specific home country and the out-group grows to include all other countries. The biologically active form of oxytocin, commonly measured by RIA and slash or HPLC techniques, is also known as the octopeptide oxytocin disulfide, but oxytocin also exists as a reduced straight-chain dithiol known a peptide called oxytocin. It has been theorized that oxytocin may act as a free radical scavenger as donating an electron to a free radical allows oxytocin to be reoxidized to oxytocin via the dehydroascorbate-ascorbate redox couple. The structure of oxytocin is very similar to that of vasopressin. Both are known peptides with a single disulfide bridge, differing only by two substitutions in the amino acid sequence. Cis tier PHEGLNAS and Cis Pro Arc GLYNH2. A table showing the sequences of members of the vasopressin slash oxytocin superfamily and the species expressing them is present in the vasopressin article. Oxytocin and vasopressin were isolated and their total synthesis reported in 1954 work for which Vincent Duvenaud was awarded the 1955 Nobel Prize in Chemistry with the citation, for his work on biochemically important sulfur compounds, especially for the first synthesis of a polypeptide hormone. Oxytocin and vasopressin are the only known hormones released by the human posterior pituitary gland to act at a distance. However, Oxytocin neurons make other peptides, including corticotropin-releasing hormone and dynorphin, for example, that act locally. The magnocellular neurosecretory cells that make oxytocin are adjacent to magnocellular neurosecretory cells that make vasopressin. These are large neuroendocrine neurons which are excitable and can generate action potentials. The word oxytocin was coined from the term oxytocic. Greek xi, oxys, and tau kappa omicron, tokos, meaning quick birth. Its uterine contracting properties were discovered by British pharmacologist Sir Henry Hallett Dale in 1906. And its milk ejection property was described by ODT and Scott in 1910 and by Schaefer and Mackenzie in 1911. Oxytocin became the first polypeptide hormone to be sequenced or synthesized. Duvenaud was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1955 for his work.